All right, so I got a little lab today on how to model, um, a, a, like a modeling trick on how to cut into shapes. Now, um, the really generic sort of way to do that would be with a Boolean. Um, if you go to Mesh, Booleans, and then they have Difference, Union, and Intersection. Um, I'm going to show you how that works first. And then I'm just going to take this shape here. And then I'm going to take this shape here. And I want to cut this circle, the sphere, into my sh cube. So when I do this, I'm going to select one, select my cube, shift select my sphere, and under the modeling tab, go to booleans and difference, and you'll see it cuts right into it, which is nice. Now, put it into smooth mode and you'll see it's really not so nice. It's some weird, it's got the normals flipped in, it's all wonky. Now the way to fix something like this is you literally have to go through and start taking all, this is the correct way to get the correct topology. You take your multi-cut tool here and go ahead and start cutting all these into uh, triangles and get them all to line up correctly. So when it's all said and done, it'll be like a really, really large uh, star kind of shape on the outside. Um, now, this is really tedious. So um, this is really not a good way to do this. Um, it's a very bad way because there's so much work you have to do after the fact and honestly, like, who wants to do more work? So let's go ahead and I'm going to just show you sort of, I'm going to get through this whole thing here. Oop, that cuts through the whole thing. Delete this one. Okay. And I'm doing just a quick rough. Little job here. So you start to get this, um, star looking shape on the top. I'll sh you'll see what I mean in a second. And I'm just adding one division around on each side so I have something to sort of evenly cut into. And this one can actually go over here. All right, so almost done. Just one or two more. And like I said, this is just a rough job. But if you saw earlier how poor of a job that did when smoothing. And the reason, running a smooth is always a good way to check your topology to make sure that you don't have anything, any vertices not merged or something like that. So you end up with something like this. Um, it's kind of like reminds me of a star in a way. Um, and now if I want to go ahead and smooth it, it actually retains that shape, which is kind of cool. And that means the topology is fixed, basically. So that took a little bit longer than I really wanted it to. So the better way to generally do this, this is a really basic example, but the better way to do this is to, let's say, take your sphere and scale it up. Because the Boolean cut, if you ever try to cut into a complicated object, like these are just basic shapes. Um, if you ever try to cut into like a compli complicated object, it's going to do a terrible job and more than likely the software is going to crash. So I like to show this way by extruding out. I delete the top faces and extrude out from the top here. 
Now, I'm going to go to Mesh Display and Reverse. And now I've got my cut in, just like so. And that was a lot, a lot simpler to retain the correct topology. Now, I know I'm going to cut this into a cube at the moment. So I'm going to create a cube. And get it pretty accurate. I mean, that's good enough for now. Or I need it to be large enough so I can get this shape into it. And you can switch to your side view. Um, had I planned this a little bit better, it would have been. Um, I didn't wouldn't have to make that sw even switch to this view, but um, that's fine. So now I've got this shape, and on here I want to make sure I add. I need to have at least one and oh, not one there, one here. Okay. So from this point, I'm going to just delete these, so this way I have my divisions in there automatically. And I like to put on shading, wireframe on shaded. And now what I can do is take these merge to, verts to center and snap. and merge verts to center and snap. And this will guarantee, um, this is the safest, best way to cut into geometry at any case. Um, so there's that. Now I take this object and combine it, go to vertex, merge vertices, merge vertices, and I go to smooth and it looks like so. So now I can, um, you can really do anything at this point. Um, it's a great way. There's no glitches on this. It's going to work perfect every time. Um, I'm just running a quick little smooth bevel, which um, had you cut into it before with that wonky um, Topology with the boolean does a terrible job. Now I get something like this, and yeah, so I'm just sort of going through and just adding a couple little bevels on here just to show you when you enter smooth mode, it retains that shape much, much better. And having those hard edges, this is sort of like a hard surfacing modeling technique, just adding a bunch of bevels. Um, and you don't need to do this, guys. I'm just showing you um, something like that. And you get this wonky uh, geometry in here, which could be fixed if I just go ahead and delete all this stuff in here because it's just practically doing nothing useful. It's all weird. Um, and I could just connect them accordingly and then I retain all of my basic uh, quads. Um, now as I had mentioned um, this this is what just happened with that boolean or with that bevel sort of what the boolean does it does like the best job it possibly can um, but it's just, it, it'll it crash the software. Like doing something like that and leaving it there and then continuing to add to a scene that gets more and more complicated. Things like that can crash the system because Maya needs to be able to read this by, um, so now you'll see if I go into three mode, it's all in quads and not making this strange um, shape there. But Maya breaks everything down into triangles and quads. So when it has something like this, it's actually pretty difficult for the software to be able to read, um, which is one of the reasons why Maya can crash sometimes. So it's always a good idea to um, make sure you have that correct topology. Um, otherwise, you're risking crashing your file um, and even corrupting it if, if it tries to like, uh, it's 
tries to save and it just doesn't know how to save out that information next time you try to open it it says whatever and what you want to do is just make sure that um, you have that correct topology so now it's, this is going to break down into quads again and now I've got nice sharp edges going around and no weird geometry happening um, really really good to have uh, I could continue this the whole way I'm just going to do it just to show you and this is just really not too acceptable this this geometry here so um, once you get the hang of it it's definitely something to make sure you notice because it can be easily overlooked and odd things can happen uh, to your file at that point um, okay go ahead zoom in smooth it you'll see it's starting to retain that really nice hard surface sort of shape I'll do it one last time go ahead grab this tool so yeah as I mentioned earlier the, the bevel that it just did that's sort of what it, it has that same complication and errors because um, it's doing its best to cut into the shape and create extra geometry and even it cut into the shape but also create geometry so it, Maya knows how to read it as an actual m mesh um, it just simply really is just very difficult um, for these some of these tools to to break down these shapes so we want to make Maya's life easier to make our life easier when we save and uh, reduce the risk of crashing because we all know how terrible that is um, <laughs> and yeah so okay so from here I'm just gonna go ahead and select these faces around and just to show you how you could get correct topology with a shape like this um, and then I'll show you one last little tiny trick um, to a uh, modeling technique that involves uh, sort of hard surface modeling technique but it's uh, more so with has to do with um, sort of manufacturing things and manufacturing things usually have hard surfaces because they mass produce it and machines cut into things and, and shape things and create the curves and edges and whatnot so this is sort of what we're gonna go for in this little lab and what I'm going to do here is cut right here and now you'll see we have a shape all hard surfaced and created in this uh, fashion with the cut in and what, if we were to create something that looks manufactured and mass produced um, with hard surface edging it's usually something like this and we can shift D constantly to get those that uh, in a way you could do this with floor tiles or some type of solar panel or really anything that can be mass produced but this way you get all the correct topology and you can duplicate it in any way or fashion to uh, get the look of whatever you're creating um, right so this was a duplicate with transform um, and if this were used for let's say some type of a wall or something now you've got a mass produced sort of look of a cushion or wall or whatever it is so um, that's hard surface modeling boolean cut and beveling and keeping correct topology and um, a mass produced manufacturing kind of thing like tile or panels or some something like that uh, thanks for watching